Hi everyone, I'm Chef Judy Ju, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a very traditional classic Korean recipe called japchae. Japchae are sweet potato noodles that are mixed with a whole bunch of vegetables and usually some kind of protein. Today, I'm gonna to use beef, but my mom used to make a version using shrimp or prawns, and you can use chicken, or you can make a vegetarian, so anything that you wanna do. Um, you can also use any type of vegetables that you want to. Just please keep in mind, in, when you're choosing your vegetables, to choose vegetables of different colors. You can use bell peppers, green ones, yellow ones, orange ones, some scallions, some spring onions, um, onions, regular onions, etc., mushrooms, but just make sure that when you are choosing your vegetables that you choose colorful ones so that it makes for a very beautiful presentation later and also it's better for you to eat as well. In Korea we always say that you have to eat the five flavors, the five colors, and the five textures in every single meal and this dish really represents that in every single sense of the word. This dish is also quite cool because we're using sweet potato noodles and these noodles are quite springy and toothsome. They're gluten-free because they're made with sweet potato starch, so they're really, really delicious. Before we get into the recipe, I'd like to first thank the sponsor for this video, Hotspot Titanium, who has made this absolutely beautiful gorgeous instant boiling water tap. It looks so nice in my kitchen. Um, I've never had one before, so I was actually quite excited um, to get one. Um, it's really sleek looking. Of course, I was quite concerned about the aesthetics of my kitchen. <laughs> and so um, I was really happy with, with the way it looks. It has a lot of different features, like this hose comes out and you can spray it all around and clean things goes back. It has two separate taps. So this one is for your regular hot and cold. And then this one is a dedicated tap just for the boiling water, which is really nice. So you don't have to feel that you're going to accidentally burn yourself um, when you use a regular uh, faucet with the boiling water tap. And of course, it has some child safety features. So there's a button that you have to press down in order to get the boiling water. And also the tank is made of titanium, which is obviously a very, you know, kind of special and high tech space age type of metal that um, doesn't corrode. So there's actually a 20 year warranty on their tank. And that's one of the main problems with a lot of these instant boiling water taps is that they corrode with lime scales, etc. And then you have to constantly change them. The other thing that I also really like is that the tap has a non sputtering um, kind of a feature. So it flows really, really nicely and smoothly. A lot of these hot water taps that I've seen out there sputter and then you end up splashing yourself and, and getting hurt. So that's another, another really, really nice feature that I, I like. Um, and that's about it <laughs> in terms of, of the tap. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm a bit of a gadget nerd, so I'm quite um, happy with all of the, the features and it makes my cooking go like a snap, particularly a recipe like japchae where you have to pre-cook a lot of the vegetables. My mom used to actually cook all of the vegetables separately to keep the integrity and the flavor and the color of each ve vegetable um, you know, bright and colorful. I'm not gonna bother with that, so I'm taking a bunch of shortcuts here um, just because we don't have time. So first things first, we're gonna fill up a big pot of water with boiling water. And this is to boil our noodles. And then I'm just going to pop my noodles in. And then we're just gonna pop this on the burner until it boils. Next, which is super fun and really easy, is I'm going to use my tap to blanch some vegetables now. I just have some julienne carrots. Use my hot water tap, fill it up all the way. And also some broccoli. just going to cover it with some plastic wrap and let that hang out for a minute or two. Super easy. You don't waste any water. It's so nice. I love it. And while that's blanching, I'm just going to saute some vegetables and my meat. So I've got a little bit of grated garlic and ginger here just mixed together. Just put that into my frying pan with a bit of oil. And to that, I have some meat that's been marinated in soy sauce, sesame oil, a little bit of apple juice, garlic, ginger. Gosh, what else did I put in here? Salt and pepper. And so this is going to be my meat. I'm gonna throw some in, it's thinly sliced. And then I'm also going to add some onions. 
and some mushrooms. Yep. And some Swiss chard. I've got red and green and yellow here. Mix that all in. Give it a bit of a mix. So that's sauteing nicely. And then I'm going to add my carrots and broccoli. Hot. So I'm going to add it in there. And also the broccoli. I love blanching it. it. Keeps it nice and golden. I mean, brightly colored green. I'm going to just throw those in. Just like that. And mix it around. So that's sauteing nicely. I'm also going to make a sauce. Now in my sauce, the base is going to be soy sauce. Put some in there. A little bit of sesame oil. This is gonna add some nice fragrance and nuttiness. Throw that in. Some sugar. This is a little bit of a sweet dish, sweet and salty. Put some sugar in. Black pepper, freshly ground, of course. A bit of salt. Soy sauce does not replace salt, we use both. And sesame seeds. Whisk that together. Well, and just to make sure that the sugar is dissolved. That's looking nice. And then we're going to check on our noodles and mix them in. So our noodles are done. And we're going to drain these. Drain them. And I'm going to rinse them with a little bit of water just to get some of that excess starch off. And I'm going to use my button here. So I'm just going to take my noodles now and toss them into my frying pan. And so I'm going to mix this now and I'm going to put in some of my Seasoning sauce. And that's it. I'm going to garnish with some egg, um, sesame seeds, scallion spring onions, and some red chilies. And that's about it. So that are my japcha noodles. Really easy. So that's pretty much that done. Now it's time for the fun part and to uh, garnish this. So I've just made a very thin egg omelet that I've uh, cooked gently and cut into thin strips. I'm just gonna put these on top, just like that. A Little bit of a round shape to them. Just a little bit of organized chaos, I like to say. Then I'm gonna put some Scallions or spring onions, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you are from the world. I love these noodles. They're a big street food thing, too. Um, and you can uh, make them super nice. You can make them vegetarian. You can use leftovers inside of them. It doesn't really matter. I like to put, which is not traditional, a bit of fresh chili on top, too, just because I love spicy foods. And it's nice color. And I like to add a little bit of heat to pretty much everything I, I eat. So tasty and pretty too. And then for the final flourish, I'm going to add just some black sesame seeds on top. Just a sprinkling. 
So those are my japchae noodles with beef. It really is a full balanced meal in one bowl. You have your starch, you have your protein, you have a whole medley of vegetables. I mean, look how colorful that is. It's so good for you, so tasty. I mean, it smells amazing also. And it was done in probably about 15, 20 minutes, which is not bad considering all the different elements in here. And it's because of my Hotspot Titanium Tap, which is so great. So do check them out, Hotspot Titanium on Instagram or their website, hotspot-titanium.co.uk. And then you can also start cooking up a storm in no time at all. Thank you.